All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am in live on location. Big waves out there. Coach has got her UT cup. We're excited about the game this weekend, but I am live in location in Sandestin, Florida. And yes, it is absolutely gorgeous here. But I've got meetings today, and um, I'm excited because this word, Coach had no idea when she sent me this word that I needed this word. And, and I'm going to steal because I've read her notes, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to steal the definition since I'm up first. But the word for today is zealous, zealous, okay? And, and I want you to, like, think of – I know you always do, but really think about you, okay, Bill? Like, think about the way you are around people and Susan and Billy. And, and I mean, think about how you are or how you were yesterday to the people you came in contact with. When you think about this word zealous, having or showing zeal. Okay, well, what's zeal? Zeal is, I'm going to try to be still because I'm on my hot spot. Zeal is great energy, great enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective, okay? So it really takes true courage. It takes courage to be considered at times as a little too zealous. You know, I've never – I always bring it back to coaches, and this is a coach's corner, so I can't. But I can't tell you how many times in my life I've watched a coach take over a program that was terrible, like they're terrible, you know? And that coach comes in and, they're, and, and the naysayers are out there going, he or she is just a little too zealous. They're coming in too optimistic. They're coming in with, with too much energy. Like, do, do they really realize how bad they are? <laughs> how many years it's going to take them to change? Well, let me tell you, it takes courage to be that person that realizes there's a lot of naysayers out there that as they're positive and as they're excited, those naysayers are going, y'all are awful, awful. But here's what that person has to have at their core to be zealous and sometimes a little too zealous but a little too zealous is actually pretty good, okay? Really good. But here's what the person has to have at the core value of them. They got to have great belief in where they're going. They got to have great vision in where they're going. They got to have great energy. They got to have great enthusiasm. They got to have a great mindset. They got to take books and audios and things every day and in their spare time, they got to saturate their mindset. They got to have great spoken words. I'm seeing Kelly Brown right now. She, Kelly, you better run for the hills because I see you. So I'm going to say it. A person's got to have great spoken words. So what they're putting out, is it zealous? Like, is it great? Or is it negative, Michelle? Is it, are they, what are they spewing out of their mouth? See, people that are doing great things have great spoken words, great action they're taking, great body language. And it leads me to this. Everybody wants to know, and I, I know I'm on him right now, Jeremy Pruitt, they're going to agree. They got a huge game this weekend against Georgia. That's a powerhouse, and I, I think Tennessee is a powerhouse. But you know what? Win or lose, win or lose, what I'm about to tell you came years ago from Jeremy Pruitt and Nick Saban at a University of Alabama football practice that I attended. And I knew Jeremy was bound for – he'd already achieved greatness, but he was bound for even greater things in his career – and they were in the locker room, and I was kind of – I was in the middle of – I was in the middle of all this, and, and so Jeremy probably never remembers me actually 
he doesn't remember me being there that day, but I was there with a, a group of high school coaches that are actually, some of them are in the Hall of Fame now. And, and Jeremy and Scott Cochran and some of the coaches there, they were, they were literally hollering at the players as they were coming out on the practice field. And they were saying, what are you selling today? What are you selling today? And they, they just kept echoing that through the locker room, through the, 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 as they were entering the field, as they went out and started stretching. What are you selling today? And here's what they meant. Are you selling great vision? Are you selling great energy? Bill Staling, are you selling great enthusiasm today with the people around you? Are you selling great spoken words? What's spewing out of your mouth? Is it negative? Is it all the wrongs that are going on? Or is, all, is it all the rights that's going to happen? What are you selling? Are you selling great action? Are you at the first in line to go through a drill? Are you back dragging tail in the back? What are you selling? Are you selling great body language? Are you telling your teammates, today's, man, it's going to be tough. Are you selling, man, we're about to go out there and shock the world. And today's going to be one of those stepping stone days. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. What are you selling? I share that with you because that was a thing. That was an impression in my life that has stuck with me. And I don't always wake up and go, hey, hey, Palmer, what are you selling today? What are you selling to the people around you? But I promise you this, on the days that I do do that, I have a much more productive, much more zealous, much more um, inspirational day in the life of Brent Palmer. Because of that day, on that field at the University of Alabama. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, and I'm gonna turn it over. I know she just hopped up, but I wanna turn it over to coach. Raise your hand if that makes any sense to you. Does that make sense? What are you selling to the world around you? Coach, I'll turn it to you. Okay, good morning. Awesome. I'm a little jealous of Coach Palmer this morning sitting out in Destin, but uh, I'm blessed. We're all blessed. And I'm just excited about uh, this community. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. I'm working on a, a speaker for Friday that he's a big deal. Uh, not only uh, locally, um, in the country. So just kind of keep your fingers crossed on that. I hadn't even talked to Coach Palmer about that. But anyway, you know, we're talking about zealous. I don't know why this word came to me, but it did. And I'm thankful that it did. You know, Coach went over the definition. De you know, zealous is simply just says having, a, having or showing zeal. And zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. I'm going to be referring to enthusiasm and energy several times. And I'm going to refer to it as the ease. So I'm going to ask you, do you have your ease turned up today? Where is your energy and enthusiasm? You know, a lot of times when we get on the call in the morning, we all, some of us are a little sleepy. Some of us are kind of already moving ahead with our day and some of us are already feeling stressed, but you know, are your ease turned up today already? You need to ask yourself that. Well, here are some ways that you can get your ease going. You know, make this to where it's not an option. And when I say that, I'm saying that your attitude is always, always in our control. It's always in our control. So, if we make this something that is not an option and we are in control of it, hey, we're good. We're starting out golden right off the bat with those things. You know, and another thing is uh, it, make it real. Um, that fake it till you make it 
it is okay sometime, but you can always choose the two E's and you don't have to fake it. I don't have, want you to raise your hands, but have you ever shook hands with someone that you go and meet and you know good and well, they just faking it until they can get past the meeting you when they introduce yourself. They just shaking your hand and you know, they're looking all over the place instead of looking at you in your eyes. Well, that's not cool. When you have energy and enthusiasm, that's going to help in every single way uh, to make you, a, and I, my opinion is a zealous person. You know, and here's another thing that I have to work on constantly, constantly. And maybe you don't, but I do. It's a battle. We have to make it a habit. You know, you got to get time. It takes time to get used to a new level of energy. You know, it does. It takes time to get used to that. You have to, you know, you have to work until it becomes automatic. And again, maybe y'all don't struggle with that, but I, there are times that I really do. I, I struggle with making it becoming automatic. But once it becomes a habit, guess what? It's a beautiful thing. It is an absolute beautiful thing. You know, people like to be around people that have energy and enthusiasm. <laughs> Nobody... Nobody likes to be around an old crotchety grunt butt. You know, we love energy and enthusiasm. No grunt butts, crotchety. You know, I learned that word about four years ago. Y'all may have known it and I love it. I love it. And buddy, when I identify an old crotchety person, I do my best to go try to make, make them smile. But a zealous person is a devoted and diligent person. They display not only the ease, they just play joy and happiness. You know, it's critical to make joy, happiness, enthusiasm, and energy a non-negotiable priority in order to be a zealous person. I'm going to end with a quote right here. And it was by Sunday Adelaja. Now, I probably butchered that last name, but in our life, if our life is built on God's standards and we're responsible and zealous for the things of the kingdom, then we will have persistent success in life and wealth, which will not bring tears. So leave that with you today. I hope you had a good day. And for goodness sake, don't be an old crotchety grunt butt out there today. Let's show that you're zealous and happy and put the ease to work. It's great to see y'all. Crotchety, crotchety grunt butt. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I just learned a whole new identification of people when I come across. That's straight, out of, straight out of killing Alabama, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Coach, so much. Thank you so much. And everybody on here, we're grateful for you. Let's go be zealous today in the world, yeah. okay? Have a great have a great Wednesday. We'll see you back tomorrow. Love you guys. Love y'all. Love you guys. Love you. That was a great